Ah, it's day 17 and going to be a great day. We have a new guest. She is a repeat. She has a great smile and she has a magic wand. Let's wave, first of all, so no one disappears. And this is Lillian. She's going to be the production lady and do all kind of colors. And my question is, what color do you want to use today? Baby blue. I mean, red. <laughs> red. That's correct. Because red's going to be everywhere today. And back to our production. Live from Pine Top, Arizona, it's That Painting Show, starring the Color Queen. Hello. Welcome to day 17 of That Painting Show. My name is Beth Zink, and I am so happy you're all here to see us in our next painting show. It's so much fun to be doing these videos. We are having a great time. Can't believe it's day 17 already. Anyway, today's all about red get it i know you love my wigs <laughs> but first i'd like to know lily who is today's lucky duck today's lucky duck is marie from carefree marie from carefree what does marie want to know oh i can't read it can you tell me what do you mean by hand embellishing your decay Oh boy, Lily, I'm amazed that you got that. You got through those words. You got an A, just for <laughs> hand embellishing G clays. First of all, a G clay is a a print on canvas. It's a, a less expensive piece of art, but it's still a lovely piece of art. And um, I've had several people ask me recently if I would hand embellish them. That means I basically take a brush with some clear product, it's like a clear paint, and I go over each one of the strokes on the clay, and it gives it a little more texture, a little more interest, and um, that adds about, I mean, uh, for my, what I do is I add 15% to the cost of the clay to do that for you, but you're getting something that's pretty much hand done although it's not the original painting. But by the way, by the way, Queenie, Yeah. I uh, saw you come in and I thought you might be Anne Margaret. <laughs> you know, she was introduced on Jack Benny back in the early 60s, but you look marvelous. Oh, you know, she was a lovely lady and a great dancer. I don't dance, um, but I sure do enjoy. You paint though. I paint, I, and I, I do enjoy having these wigs. I do. It's it's fun for us to put on these videos and um, bring joy to people, even acting silly. So, well, here and, I am. And we have one for each day. The red, the blonde, the farmer's daughter. Looking good. Well, I thought Lily was going to ask me something about why I like red. Well, she has a red car, red glasses, red front door, red kitchen sink, a red and a red iPhone. So I'd say she really likes red. You know, Lily, you are spot on. I love red. So that's why today's flower is going to be red. And I paint a lot of red flowers. What I've done here in this canvas, and this is going to be a step-by-step -step painting. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be doing this for... I don't know, three or four segments. I underpainted the whole thing dark green because I just wanted to have a dark color back here so I could sketch with my chalk or chalk pencil, which I did. This is a painting I did some years ago, and this is a, a print of it, a smaller print. So I'm going to transfer this onto here. If you are in fear, in fear of drawing, you can actually trace. If you um, don't mind drawing, do it yourself. Grid it off, measure it, whatever. But I always paint back to front. I'm taking a little bit of purple and a lot of red. This background here, this background color is maroon. 
How you make maroon is you take red and you add purple to it. And you can see I'm taking a large brush and I'm kind of blending it. My scumbling technique that I like to tell you about, I'm going around my sketch here. This is a kind of maroon color. That'll do my background. This can be done in a couple of layers. But basically you just want a sort of a, a textured background color. Don't want it to be completely flat as if it were, you know, rolled on with a roller or something and uh, like you do in your home. Next, I am going to take my green and a little bit of yellow ochre or yellow oxide and I'm going to put these green areas in here. I'm going to go right up to the edges there. I'm going to try not to touch these colors of paint because they'll blend since they're wet. Whoops, I forgot that. I forgot that was a tag. So I'm going to work around this little bud. As you see, there's no bud up there, but I added one because I thought it needed it here. What color red is that? Well, the basic color is cadmium red. Um, that's kind of like your, what we, well, we used to call fire engine red. Fire engines aren't red anymore. Um, but it's your the, best color. I, I, I just love red. I'm sorry. I mean, red is one of the most powerful colors we have. I'm still working my greens out here. Just because I have it on my brush, I'm using a, a little bit of yellow ochre with what's called deep green or there's another variation of it called hooker's green and don't ask me why it's, why it's called hooker's. It was General Hooker from the Civil War. Well, I know that's why hookers were called hookers, but I don't know why hooker's green is called green. That's the same. Anyway, that's that's always a fun subject when we talk about um, the title of that paint. Most, well, you most, know, red red is the color of not only Mars but also Burns. Right. Good call. And it's also a very powerful and rich color. I don't. I think it's it's called a. We call it kind of a passionate color, not a restful color. It's more of a exciting color. Maybe that's why I like it so much. I like to have drama in my paintings. So I think I've covered all this background here. I might add the little bottoms of the buds here, a little bit, a little bit more of the lighter, lighter uh, with the yellow ochre. You know, newer growth in any plant form is always a little lighter yellowy, more of a yellowy green than the dark green. That's just the, the new growth. So I kind of got these little two bottoms of these buds here. There's another bud up here I added, so let's go ahead and add a little yellow ochre here. And uh, I guess that's about about it. Cadmium red, that basic, beautiful, rich red. What we're going to do is we're going to put, we're going to paint in all our petals in cadmium red. That's our mid-tone. We'll come back, we'll add the highlights and the shadows later, but for now, we're just going to kind of keep our, uh, see how I'm kind of keeping the drawing separated? 
I'm leaving a little bit of space, a little thread of background in between. See how I'm doing this? I'm not, I'm not going over it and completely obliterating my drawing. I mean, I don't want to lose my drawing. I'm going to put these all in. And it doesn't matter. You just want to put a nice heavy coat of paint. Follow your sketch. But that wherever your your drawing is, your line of your drawing, just leave a little thread of that drawing still available so that you can see where your petals are. And this is the what we call the blocking in stage. The mid-tones, the medium side, the medium color tones because we'll add the lighter versions and the darker versions later. But see how this already has made this look like a flower? And see how I'm, my, I'm making my brush strokes follow the contour of each petal? That's really important. Don't go side to side. Petals don't go side to side. You follow them, follow them down, top to bottom. Okay, I might even throw these guys in. Dr. John, Captain John, how much time do I have? I think I might be running long here. You have, uh, you're on the clock. And I'm, <laughs> I know. Actually, you're, I'm, I'm, you've like got uh, double time. But uh, you're worth it, so keep painting. Do I have another minute just to kind of like rough in these buds? You got as many as you like. Okay. I'm roughing in these buds. Just because I have all this paint out, I may as well use it, right? Hey, you know, if you can't uh, finish, if you, you get interrupted when you're painting, just um, take a piece of foil or saran wrap or something and put it over your, your palette. If you live in a really dry area, uh, you, might, you might even want to mist your paint, a little, have a little misting, um, bottle and and just kind of mist mist it so your paint doesn't dry out but honestly if you just i actually you know what i do i take one plate and put it on top of the other plate just like this and then i put something heavy on top of it if i'm not going to work on it until the next day and it stays moist so when you have to stop painting emergency, make dinner, go to bed, wake up, whatever it is you're doing. Uh, just do that. Just let it go. Wait till next time. And thank you so much for joining us. Today's sale of the day, honestly, I forgot. I didn't do a sale of the day, but I think uh, actually what we've introduced new is the hand embellished clays. And, um, I've had several clients that are so happy I've done this uh, because I hadn't in the past. It was just like, okay, do clay or painting? And uh, this is kind of a mid-tone or a, a midpoint in price. Um, also, my pearls of wisdom. Ta-da! <laughs> pearls of wisdom are from um, Abraham Lincoln. And this is a funny one, actually. I know. I never knew Abe. I mean, I'm old, but I've never known Abe. He said, it's been my experience that folks who have no vices have very few virtues. Wow. Anyway, thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. Stay safe. Stay well. 